a very interesting object for investigations, not only to criminalists. Also, medical scientists are highly interested, in particular, in certain particles of the blood. The proteins. These are the actual suspects, since they play an important role in the process of developing diseases, for example, cancer. The hunt for clues starts. After suitable preparation of the blood, the almost clear blood serum is being pipetted onto a protein chip. This requires lots of light, laser light. Inside this mass spectrometer, the blood gets shot at to uncover the hidden information. By shooting a laser beam at the sample, the proteins are vaporized, ionized, and then accelerated within an electric field. They fly towards a detector on top of the machine where the time of flight is measured. This happens very rapidly, many thousand times. The charged molecules, now being in gas phase, are passed through an electric field where they are accelerated. This process sorts the particles by their masses. By analyzing the time needed for traveling through this field, the respective masses can be computed. Many thousand particles are affected by this laser bombardment, and all this happens under heavy surveillance. However, only about a hundred suspects are actually interesting, and these need to be identified. So the essential question is, where do they hide in this vast amount of information? An intractable task for investigators of the old school. Storing data from only a single blood sample requires a whole DVD. This data is now being analyzed by Dr. Tim Konrad, scientist at the Mathematics Institute of Freie Universität Berlin and at Matheon. Which analysis methods are needed? How can one speed up the investigation? An analysis pipeline with a sequence of new algorithms is key to a successful investigation. The process starts with the raw data coming from the mass spectrometer. Initially, this data is denoised to facilitate subsequent steps of the analysis. Following this, the so-called baseline is detected and removed. Afterwards, the spectrum is normalized to establish a common level, so it can be compared to other spectra. Now the actual detection is performed, which identifies the so-called peaks. To achieve this, potential start and endpoints are sought. In most situations, these peaks overlap. Therefore, their actual shape needs to be recovered. Once found, each single peak is analyzed and its properties, such as position, height, and area, are stored. During the next step, the researchers overlay spectra of many patients having the same disease. They are searching for so-called master peaks, which occur in all spectra simultaneously and have similar properties. Eventually, the properties of detected master peaks are compared to those extracted from the data of healthy people. That way, features specific to a certain disease can be identified. The collection of particularly distinct features provides the researchers with a fingerprint for this disease. This fingerprint can play an essential role during the investigation and might provide crucial evidence. The results strongly suggest that this protein plays an important role during the development of cancer. This fingerprint can now be used for diagnosing particular kinds of diseases, for example, prostate cancer. With present computers, however, this is a very time-consuming task. Of course, more powerful hardware is available, but these are very expensive. In fact, too expensive for a routine checkup. Assistance comes out of the unexpected. What makes virtual heroes come to life can also assist in analyzing blood. The good old times are things of the past. 
The algorithms running on this PlayStation enable the researchers to achieve their goals much more successfully. That way, a patient's blood can be screened for the usual suspects more precisely and much faster. On top of that, even more things become feasible. Since now fingerprints are known for particular diseases, it might become possible to develop specific drugs that change the behavior of the involved proteins. This allows the development of drugs tailored to the individual needs of each patient.